continuing our work with and compound inequalities. Uh, the inequalities just get a little bit more and more complex as we go, uh, which was the case in, in the past with equations and with inequalities, and now with compound inequalities. The process is the same. We simplify and solve each part of the inequality, uh, graph each, and then with an and inequality, it's what satisfies both equations. So we will start on the left-hand side of the equation with 1 fourth x minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 1. And sorry, I'm at the left-hand side of the compound inequality, not equation. So we'll go ahead and we'll add 3 to both sides. That leaves us with 1 fourth x on the left-hand side and 2 on the right-hand side. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Now to get rid of the 1 fourth, we multiply both sides by 4. And we get x is greater than or equal to 8. Now onto the right-hand side of the compound inequality. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Is greater than or equal to 2. Subtract 6 from both sides. We get negative 3x is greater than or equal to negative 4. And then dividing both sides by negative 3. Now careful because we're dividing both sides by a negative value, so we have to switch the direction of the inequality symbol. x is less than or equal to 4 thirds. So now this one has a, a, a broad distance between the endpoints. One is greater than or equal to 8. The other one is less than or equal to 4 thirds. So we need number lines that encompass both endpoints in order to see what they share in common. We'll start with 9, 8, 7, 6... 4, 3, 2, 1. So we're starting with x is greater than or equal to 8. We put a closed circle or a bracket at 8. It's greater than or equal to, so we go to the right. We'll draw our second number line. We'll use the same scale. 9... 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're looking at x is less than or equal to 4 thirds. Again, since it's inclusive, it includes the equals. We put a closed circle at 4 thirds. And we're going to the left in this case. Now, what do the two parts of the inequality share in common? Nothing. If we go up from one endpoint. For one, it doesn't match anything on the other graph. Nothing in between matches either. We go down from the top inequality. That doesn't match anything on the second graph. So our solution, as far as the number line is concerned, is just the number line. Because they don't share anything in common, which means there's no real solution. Uh, that solution would be fine as far as questions asked in this course. No real solution. Uh, if we wanted it expressed as a set, this would be the null set because there's nothing in the real number system that will satisfy both parts of this compound inequality. You plug in any value and one might be true, uh, the other will not.